hello and welcome again I'm going to show you in this tutorial how to send HTML table uh, as an email using SQL Server integration service first of all I'm going to uh, send uh, a SQL table as HTML, HTML table first uh, I'm now have a have an query have a query uh, this query uh, returns the row counts of uh, of each table in my schema so this query return the counts for each for each table so expert export column has five row database log 96 and so on so this is my schema adventure world data warehouse uh, 2016 and this is the tables and the row counts i want to send this table as HTML table using email I want to send this data using email with the integration service so first I'm going to convert this table to uh, HTML element how to do this I have now this, this second query this is my main query this part my main query and this part and this part converting or con converting that converting the data returned from the, the query to html element tr and td which is row and cells in the table so let's run this and show the data so click on this link as you can see all data returned as a tr and td so now i'm um, just want to add table tag here at the at the first of the data and at the end okay this this is actually i'm going to add it uh, using the c sharp not here i'm just uh, want to show you how is the, 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 the HTML table will be like so this query converted the data to HTML elements TR and TD and using C sharp I'm going to add the table tag and the, the closing table tag okay so now to the uh, SQL Server integration service I'm already uh, done this and I, I, I don't want to I don't want uh, the video will be long so uh, I have already done this and I'm going to explain how to do this uh, first I uh, I dragged execute SQL task and uh, script task so the first element the first tool will be execute SQL task in this execute SQL task I'm going to add first before doing anything in the execute SQL task I'm going to uh, create a variable so I click on variables as you can see I just created variable named HTML table by you can add another one and the, the, the data type of it string okay so this is my variable now I'm going to delete this no need to do it now this variable will carry the HTML table returned by the SQL script okay at the execute SQL task I'm going to prepare adding the HTML table to the variable double click on execute SQL task first you need to ad adjust the connection so if there is no connection you're going to click on new and choose your connection SQL Server connection and click OK this is it okay result set you need to choose from the result set XML so this is the second step okay okay the third step add the SQL statement you want to you're going to add this script which is converting the table to HTML elements okay okay so this will be the, your SQL script okay 
and the last thing at the result set you're going to pass the, uh, the the result to the HTML table that I have created variable the, the variable that I have created okay and please set the result name to zero not uh, not the, the default result okay and just click OK so this task will execute the SQL query and return the value to the to the uh, the HTML table variable. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, going to the script task. Double click on the script task. This will be the C sharp code that will sending the email. Okay. Double click on script task. First and uh, and the important uh, step. At the read only variable, you need to, ch to choose HTML table variable because to retrieve the data from it at the C sharp. Okay, you will click on this smart tag and navigate to the the, the variable and check the checkbox. Okay, okay, that's it. And now to the C sharp code that will be sending the email. Okay. Click on edit script. It'll take a while to open the uh, another instance from the Visual Studio. And now this is my code. Okay. At the public void main function, I'm going to fetch my code. In your code at the first look you will have only this line okay only this line will be exist so you're going to add your code that will be sending the email okay I I have created a variable named the data review result okay and add this variable I added the table tag and the headers to the HTML tables name and row count. This will be the headers, the header, the headers columns. Okay, the, just a concatenation. And this part concatenation. And where where is the variable? Where is the variable value? Here it is. DT, DTS variables and write your variable name user HTML table. Okay, this is our variable dot value dot to string we need to cast it dot to string and for this part actually when when the variable comes from the database uh, it comes with root tag at the html so i don't need this root tag in my html so i replaced it by empty string so whenever found root in the string Please replace it with empty string and the closing tag also replace it with empty string. So I don't because I don't want this root tag to be in my HTML table. Again, now I'm I'm closing the table tag and I'm going to configure my email address and please note there will be namespace adding here. using system.net.mail and using, using system.net please add those two namespaces before you start coding uh, fetching your code in the uh, void main function okay okay i'm going to post this uh, this code uh, in the in the description so uh, but i'm going to describe each line uh, but uh, you can copy copy it and paste it it's very easy to, to use okay okay so this variable now carrying my HTML I, I this will be my body in, in the email okay uh, at this variable okay so I'm going to uh, here uh, uh, I have created a variable named from address and named the from email the, the SSIS tutorial one Gmail uh, and this is will be the name of the sender. Okay, this is I S to Okay, constant string from address. This is the password from from password. Sorry, uh, th uh, this is the password of this email. Okay, so this is the password. Now from and the password. 
and this is this just some configuration need to configure for the email var stmb equal new smtb sorry smtb should smtb okay smtb client and i put it the host the port enable ssl delivery method use default code, uh, credential credential timeout all this i'm going to post this uh, uh, code and another configuration is body html this is important configuration is body html because uh, my, my my body will be html so to, you need to set it to true subject to sending mail from ssis body so i i pass it the variable body uh, the variable value to the body so to the mail message body from and uh, here i'm adding the from mail okay to here I'm adding the two mail. I'm going to send it to SS tutorial to Gmail. Okay. And I put it my sending email to try try and catch and add the catch. I'm going to show message box message message box dot show. Uh, if there is any um, uh, error message will be appear to me to handle the error. Okay. I'm going again. I'm going to post this uh, script or the code at the description of the video. So. Uh, you can copy and paste it okay now let's try and check uh, uh, the, the function of the uh, package click on ok and now let's see the execution this is my package send email click uh, first I'm going to show you this two email the from and to okay so this is the I think two the, the this is will be the two and this will be the from okay okay click on execute package and see the result okay this should send the email now okay now i have i received the email sending mail from ssis the sender ssis tutorial one and here is our data sent sent as html table as you can see table names and row counts border uh, i i set it the border at the html uh, uh, string in the c sharp uh, as you can see this is the result now i can send the, uh, a, a table as a HTML table in a name using SQL Server Integration Service. Uh, again, I'm sorry for my English, uh, but I hope you understand and can uh, do this task uh, by yourself. Thanks again and to the next tutorial. Thank you.